Biden has chosen former South Bend Mayor Pete Buttigieg as his transportation secretary. If the Senate confirms the former presidential candidate, he would be the first openly gay department secretary to be confirmed for a post. Pete's got a great perspective of a mayor that solves problems and brings people together. He's got a vision of a next generation leader. Newer generations have a lot at stake in infrastructure policy that by its nature must contemplate both the immediate and the long term. The question of how America will look by the middle of this century, the competitiveness of our economy, the security of our climate. For me, this isn't academic, it's personal. Okay, right now, let's bring in Importantville's Adam Wren, who covered the former mayor's campaign for president. Adam, this week in Politico, uh, you ask that key question, is he ready for a job of this magnitude? What are people in his circle and in his hometown saying in response? You know, many of the people I talk to believe that while this is a jump, uh, and just to quantify it, uh, South Bend has a population of about 100,000. The employees that he'll be over in the department is about 55,000, so nearly half the population of his hometown. When, when I talked to people, they said that he would be able to make that leap, that he had the managerial skills. Uh, there's been a lot of focus on his qualifications, and many people say, including even Republicans here in Indiana, people like U.S. Senator Todd Young, uh, who will be key to his uh, nomination and confirmation battle, uh, they, they say that he's qualified. Uh, so, you know, we'll, we'll be watching that really closely, um, you know, when his confirmation hearings come around. We did also, as you mentioned, see some of that bipartisan praise from Senator Young, also from Governor Holcomb. Uh, what does this mean for the former mayor's political future, do you think? Does he still have presidential aspirations one day? You know, many have seen this position as a cabinet backwater position that doesn't really carry a lot of sway. But with a huge potential infrastructure bill and the offing under uh, by President-elect Biden, you know, you could see Pete Buttigieg going to all 50 states, major cities doing ribbon cuttings for new highways, new bridges. Uh, and this could really engender for him a lot of good uh, political will, uh, even on a bipartisan level, which we've seen this okay. past week here in Indiana. Okay. Adam Wren, thanks so much. We'll have more uh, with our panel coming up uh, on the transition of power. Plus, uh, a lot of talk about Indiana's state budget and Indiana teachers. Will they get a pay raise in the year ahead? Stick around. We'll be right back.